Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm kicking drink week off by showing you guys how to make a delicious Shirley Temple completely from scratch. So first up, you're going to grab some uh, dark red cherries and essentially just pit them. If you guys have a cherry pitter, whip it out. But if not, I find it's pretty convenient just to grab a simple paring knife and just to trim around the cherry just to get all that delicious dark cherry meat off of the pit. Alright, so after you're done cutting up your cherries, you're going to add them to a small sauce pot that's on medium heat, followed by a healthy splash of water, uh, some agave syrup for uh, a little bit of sweetness, and finally some vanilla extract for flavoring. Cook this mixture for about 10-15 to 15 minutes just until you have a delicious and beautiful red cherry syrup. Once the cherry syrup is looking good, you're going to pull it off the heat and strain the syrup into one container and reserve the cooked cherries in another. Uh, now I'm not going to be using the cherries for this recipe, uh, but you can use them for an array of delicious dessert toppings. Just make sure you refrigerate them for 30 minutes before use. Alright, so after the cherry syrup is done cooling down, you're going to whip out your shaker like I have here or something just to mix the ingredients together and add a lemon peel to it. Just make sure you give it a good twist beforehand. A squeeze of half a lemon, a squeeze of half a lime, and of course our cherry syrup that I have here in my trusty dusty little squeeze bottle. I'm just going to add a few tablespoons, then some ice, and give it a good shake. So next up, you're going to pop open your club soda, give it a gentle pour into your shaker or whatever you're using to mix all of your ingredients. Give it a gentle stir to make sure everything is incorporated evenly, but make sure you don't flatten the soda. Uh, next, you're going to strain everything into a chilled glass that's filled with ice. And of course, it wouldn't be a Shirley Temple if you didn't top it with a few cherries. So of course, I'm going to top it off with a few fresh cherries. And there you guys have it, a delicious, refreshing Shirley Temple for the summertime that's made completely from scratch. Ooh, this is nice and fizzy, looking good. All right guys, well as you can see, cake week is finally over. I'm sure a lot of you guys are happy about that, but it was sort of bittersweet. Uh, I had a lot of stuff going on this last month and uh, that was why I kind of dragged out cake week, um, but I really enjoyed it, but it's done with, so. Um, there'll be a cake week too, I'm sure sometime in the future. But it's finally drink week. I've been really anticipating this week. I'm super excited about it. There's a lot of drinks that I have in my mind that I want to um, you know, execute and see how they turn out. This is definitely a familiar drink with a lot of people. It's a Shirley Temple. Usually you have like a lemon lime soda that's like a sweetened soda with some sort of maraschino uh, syrup. So I made my own syrup, made my own little club soda lemon lime mixture. So it's a little bit less sweet. I also used agave, which is toning down the sweet level of this. So this is just a really good refreshing drink. So. Let me uh, give a few sips and tell you guys how I did. <sighs> Great thing about making your own Shirley Temple, you can put as many cherries as you want inside. Mm. And the fresh cherries are so good. It's definitely good, really refreshing. But I wish it was just a tad sweeter and a little bit less on the lemon and lime. But aside from that, it's just, a, it's a killer recipe. Uh, but if you guys want a little more sweet, obviously you can add a little bit more of this syrup, which I might do right now or a little bit more sugar or more agave when you're stewing uh, the cherries. I definitely recommend trying it out, sharing it with your friends and family, enjoying it on a hot summer day. It's a perfect drink uh, for the summertime. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up, subscribe, comment below for uh, future video requests, things you wanna see on my channel. And of course, I'll see you guys next time with another delicious recipe. Bye everybody.